Alright everybody and welcome back to more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee! In the last episode we began infiltrating the Team Rocket hideouts and in this episode we're going to hopefully finish that. I also off camera switched my Alakazam with my Alolan Ninetales because I really wanted to see Alolan Ninetales run around the world with me. <laughs> Just so cute and adorable, I love it so much. Oh, look at her! Alright, I love it. Hello, I believe that is the lift key I need. Ah, uh, what's that? You say the elevator doesn't work? Of course not! I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time! Well, we're gonna go ahead and try to take that from you, buddy! Team Rocket Grunt. Sent out Grimer? Ooh, I kinda wish I had Alakazam out for him so I could take that out. It's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and headbutt. I also healed my Pokémon off camera because I wanted them to be healthy. Pardon? Oof. Okay. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet it all on Petal Dance because he headbutt's not gonna KO. Petal Dance. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's not very effective, but it is a strong move. My special attack is higher than my physical attack. And I didn't think uh, Headbutt would beat it after he hardened. So, good thing that Petal Dance, Petal Dance worked. Yeah, now how am I supposed to keep you from taking the lift key? Guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. <laughs> Whoa, are you just taking it and, and running away? He just took it and ran away! I hope my bosses don't hear about this. <gasps> he put it up there! What the heck? How am I supposed to get that now? Ha ha, phew. Without the key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. If you think you can get it back from over there, then I'd like to see you try. Uh, there's no way getting that lift key now, not unless you know some way to walk on top of the walls or something like that had happened. That Pokemon of yours looks pretty nimble, I gotta say. Oh my gosh, he's literally telling me where to go. Wow, okay. Uh, I guess this is where we're going? There was a step or something, maybe it would be possible to reach the top from here. Look around and see if you can find something you could climb up on. I mean, there's this chair. This chair could probably be used as a step. It's not a safe step because of the wheels. Up you go! Whee! Ah, Eevee! <laughs> Eevee, go get it for us, please. Bye. Now's the time for your partner to shine. Get the key from the Team Rocket Grunt that the Team Rocket Grunt threw. All right. Whoa! I'm controlling Eevee. Oh, oh my goodness! I'm controlling Eevee right now. Where did that Cubone come from, boss? Ah. Two of my underlings decided to bring it here without my permission. The skull on its head is very beautiful. We should be able to sell it for a good price once it becomes a Marowak. <gasps> oh my god, and there's Giovanni too. Wow. I'm Eevee. Hi. Bye. Oh my gosh, Eevee like Ah, oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my god, this is adorable. What's this? Oh my goodness. You cannot be serious. Wow. Wow. Do I- do I just pick it? I, Eevee got the lift key! <laughs> this is awesome! Did you hear something just now? I did, there was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? Really? Grr. Never mind, it might have- must have just been Meowth's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. Wow, that's awesome. Can I eavesdrop? The boss's Persian is so elegant. The fake out move it and that fake out move it uses always makes an opponent flinch in battle. It's strong and cool. Oh my gosh! All right, can we go back to? Oh, this is adorable. Eevee came back to you. You got the lift key from Eevee. This game. Oh, this game. This game, you guys. This game. What can I even say anymore? This game. Such a good game. Ugh. I'm happy. I'm really happy. <laughs> this, this game makes me so happy. I just... I can't even, dude. I just... I can't even. I can't even. 
<laughs> Let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, no, 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 no. If I recall correctly, the elevator is back down there. Okay, here we are back at the elevator, so let's go ahead and use it. Let's go to basement first floor or basement fourth floor? I believe it's the basement fourth floor we want to go to, right? That's where the boss is. Here we are. What is over here? Ooh, there's an item. Hello. Got an elixir. Okay, so, oh, is my Venusaur prepared for battle? Uh, yeah, he's full on HP. I'm, I'd say my Venusaur is ready for battle. Unless we're about to fight Jesse and James. Are we about to fight Jesse and James? I guess, I guess we are. In that case, I'm gonna make my team uh, Eevee and Alakazam. I'm gonna have Eevee do a bit of carrying. And I do know that they have two poison types that we're going to have to worry about. And Eevee, Eevee's pretty much just going to be there to carry. And Alakazam is going to be psychic. You, you're the twerp from Mount Moon. Just how long are you going to follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? <laughs> I want to rescue Cubone to join Team Rocket. I want to rescue Cubone. What? That Cubone? Ha, huh, we already gave that the poor thing to the boss. It doesn't matter. There's no way we're letting you through to see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils from Mount Moon, you brat. Alright, time to beat up Team Rocket's Jesse and James once more. Oh, I love that we get to battle them. <gasps> they got an Arbok and Weezing now! Nice! They evolved their Pokemon! Alright, Eevee and Alakazam. I like, I like that you... Through your wrist to throw Eevee, but also through uh, the Pokeball to throw Alakazam at the same time. That's really cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I haven't seen Batty Bad yet. I want to see what Batty Bad looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Psybeam on. I'll use it on Weezing. That way, that way we're pretty much ganging up on him, and hopefully this KOs him. Ooh, Batty Bad did not do all that much. Crunch! That's gonna KO! No! I really wanted Alakazam to gain a bit of XP. But I, I will admit, their Pokemon are way higher level than I expected them to be. Alright, we're gonna go... I'm gonna throw... I'll have to throw Venusaur out. Uh, let's go, Venusaur. These guys are way higher level than I expected them to be. 32, both. Both of them are 32. Um, I kinda wanna revive just to just to get Alakazam back into the game. So you know what, let's go do that. Um, let me go use a revive to get Alakazam back. I'm pretty sure Venusaur could tank, tank moves for at least a while. Bouncy bubble. I'm gonna use this just so I can get HP back. And hopefully, ooh, not gonna knock Weezing out. It's okay. We should be fine. As long as they don't gang up on my Eevee. They're ganging up on my Eevee, aren't they? You guys are ganging up on my Eevee. How dare you? Okay. Thank you, Venusaur, for taking the hit. <laughs> Shoutouts to Venusaur. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... I think this will knock out Weezing. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, just in case. I'll also headbutt him. I'm pretty sure if he's gone and there's and the target for head for headbutt's gone, it'll auto crack, but I guess not. Alright. So this should the headbutt's definitely gonna knock out Weezing. And then we can just gang up on, on Jesse here. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> don't don't take ganging up on Jesse out of context. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's 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 beat her. Oh, paralyzed, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Sizzly Slide this time since that is arguably my stronger move purely because um, purely because it's a physical move. Out of my four moves, it's the only physical one, and I'm pretty sure my Eevee's physical attack is higher and also guarantees burn anyway. So this could probably end it unless unless oh god, we both have to deal with paralysis. This is not good. No, the headbutt didn't do enough. Alright, 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 alright. I see you, Team Rocket. 
Do we need a little bit? Oh no, do not attack Venusaur. <laughs> Please, for the love of God. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Had a mini panic attack there. Yeah, that's the... It, it's becoming such a recurring thing with the Pokeball Plus. When I press down, I always accidentally, like, press the direction at the same time, so... At this point, I might... I might switch back to the Joy-Con. I've been enjoying the Pokeball Plus quite a bit. It's been a very fun accessory to use. I like catching Pokemon with it. It's... It's like a fun little toy to hear everything like shake with you as you're catching Pokemon. It's so cool, but purely because the control stick is a button and you, I, ugh, it, it's kind of frustrating sometimes. <sighs> How infuriating. Don't let it get to your head just because your Pokemon were a teeny tiny bit stronger. Exactly, and even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. We're, we'll just use brute force to... V! <laughs> Eek! <laughs> Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! <laughs> That's awesome. What's up, Eevee? Eevee looks completely exasperated. I don't even blame you, buddy. Bye, bye. Aw, does Eevee- Eevee, do you like getting pet on the face now? Before you- before you hated it, but I guess you like it now. Aw, this is character development. <laughs> alright, alright, we're good here. Alright, let's... I'm gonna heal real quick. And now that I'm healed, I'm gonna go ahead and see here. Because I am, I can only imagine that we're gonna get another boss fight. Who is this guy? I don't recognize him. Just one look at this Silphscope and it's plain to see. Silphco definitely has the technology and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. <laughs> a machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still, yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer, with your plan to take over Silphco for Team Rocket. Yes, sir. Archer, excuse me? I thought Archer was from Gold and Silver. Why, what is Archer doing here in, in a Pokemon Yellow remake? And, and what is a child doing here, I guess? You listened in on our conversation without saying a word? I don't much care for that. I am Archer, an admin of Team Rocket. And I do not go easy, even on children. Archer, hi! Wow, nice... Interesting to see you here. I could have sworn that you were... You were in gold and silver and heart gold and soul silver. But here you are, in, in Kanto, in Pokemon Yellow, in... in I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm actually speechless. That's... Oh, Archer, everybody. <laughs> it's so exact. I'm just. Wow. All right. Well, that aside. Um, cool to see Archer here. Uh, looks like they're just bringing in a bunch of characters from from the Pokemon universe into this game. We got Jesse. We got James. We had Mina. We're crying out loud. And I gotta say, Archer looks really good in this game. He definitely looks younger. This is technically a two years younger version of Archer. He definitely looks younger. He's got that going for him. Um, and that's cool. Yeah, they're definitely throwing... Hmm. I mean, I guess in Generation 1, they always did have Team Rocket admins that were... They had names, but they didn't have, like, unique sprites or anything. I don't quite remember if, if, the, if Archer was in the original games. Red, blue, yellow, fire red, leaf green. I don't quite remember if he was, but I I feel like uh, he wasn't. But if he, if he totally was, and I'm surprised for nothing, feel free to let me know in the comments. <laughs> but wow, Archer, hi. <laughs> All right, let's beat up his Golbat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and buzzy buzz to end this. Uh, I'm, I'm back to playing with Eevee because everyone seems to be pretty powerful here and Eevee is, just happens to be my strongest Pokemon. I've been wanting to use Alakazam, he's obviously terribly underleveled. Venusaur has been doing kind of okay, but Eevee, Eevee is pretty much the way to go here. Alright, Golbat fainted. Like Major Team... No, 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 no. Alakazam grew to level 24! 
Team Rocket Admin Archer. What a blunder. Oh god, look at him. Wow, his face. Forgive me, Giovanni, for me to be defeated by a simple child. Wow. Wow. Wow, what do you, what do you have to say for yourself? Forgive me, Giovanni. Hey, Cubone. I meant to talk to Cubone. I guess I could talk to you. So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I am, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. Cubone! What, you want me to release the Cubone? Mama! <laughs> you came barging into our hideout just for that. What an amusing child. But for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Whoa. All right, Team Rocket boss Giovanni. Only two Pokemon. Persian. I do like that they, they gave him the Persian. I believe he had the Persian Pokemon Yellow. Uh, since Pokemon Yellow was always a reference to the anime when it was being made. And Giovanni has a Persian in the anime. If I recall correctly though, he's usually... Usually didn't have these Pokemon otherwise. I don't remember. Uh, maybe he always had the Persian, maybe he didn't always, I, I'm not quite remembering now, but here we are, the Persian. Pretty strong, I gotta say, level 35, so I'm probably just gonna spam bubbly, bouncy bubble, so I could just keep getting HP back, because I, I don't think I could... Like, even if I burned him right now, for example, I don't think I would get much out of it. Nice, a critical hit. Alright. And one more for good measure. Yes, avoid it! Thank you! <laughs> now we just get free HP back. But yeah, if I recall correctly, instead of having a Persian, he usually had like ground type Pokemon, like a Rhydon or a Needle King and a Needle Queen, but maybe that's just his gym leader team. Oh, there's the Rhyhorn at least. Alright, so I did remember that, right? And this makes. Bouncy bubble free. I honestly should have switched to Venusaur. I should have switched to Venusaur, popped a frenzy plant, and gone to town, but Eevee Eevee's handling it for me. We got this. There we go. What? This can't be. Oh, it's totally B, Giovanni. So I am I too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that cubo. Ma! And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. Giovanni handed you the self scope. The self scope in your bag. I can see you raise your poke I can see you raise Pokemon with utmost care, but you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. But I hope we'll meet and battle again. Wow. Ma ma! All right, Cubone, time to head back home. Cubone headed back to Lavender Town. Maybe with a Silscope, you'll be able to find out the identity of that ghost. That we will. How are we looking on time right now? Um, I think we have a bit of time in this episode left. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the basement first floor and just see if, there, if there's anything left in Celadon City before the gym, of course. Let's go ahead and exit this place. We are done with Team Rocket's hideouts as of now. Uh, who knows where we'll run into Giovanni next? I'm sure a lot of us know, but... Let's go ahead and leave. We're done here. Though I do wonder how we're supposed to get Porygons and stuff now. No. Hello. Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and this machine. Do you want to know the details? Yes! Okay, if you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say that, that this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young girl. I'll tell you how to ride this machine. The secret technique, Sky Dash. Oh, that Eevee wants to fly my invention instead of you? Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. Alright, let's get right to it. 
Do this and that. Hold this handle and pull. Then that will be like that. And with these balloons, you're in the air. Eevee, Eevee learned the secret technique, Skydash. Nice. So I guess that is the main way we'll, we'll, we'll use these secret techniques. Or at least this one. We'll have to go into the menu and make Eevee use it. You can have this machine, machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips through the sky. Yes! We can now fly! Uh, that's awesome! Uh, I guess I could demonstrate that right now. Uh, might as well. While we have the chance. Uh, blah, blah. Oh my god, Eevee! Eevee has been acting this way since it saw someone dancing a little while ago. Aww. We have Skydash! I love the little icons for, for it. Uh, let's demonstrate it. I'm just gonna fly to Saladon City since we still have business here. Bye bye! Oh, let's go, Eevee. <laughs> Eevee's got like the little steering wheel. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go check the gym real quick. But regardless, next time on Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I know this was uh, probably a shorter episode than what we normally go for. We did finish Team Rocket's hideout. We beat Archer, who I'm still surprised is in this game. And we beat Giovanni, so next time on Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, I don't abandon my Ninetales like I am right now. And I challenge the... the... the Celadon City Gym. I don't know why I entered this building, but here's a preview of the gym! <laughs> uh, I will see you guys next time before I even read this dialogue.